here, I'll be Tastic here, and welcome. In the last video, I compared four SSDs mounted into the SATA 2 connectors in the hard drive bay of the Z800, and found that there was virtually no difference in their speeds. I then decided to RAID 0 three Kingston SSDs I had, so fitted them temporarily into the top three SATA connectors in the Z800. I RAID 0 them in the same way as shown in this video. That resulted in this speed, quite an improvement, since this speed was vastly improved over the speed of the M SATA SSD that Windows 11 was installed on, I decided to see if there was any real world difference in boot up times etc. To do that I made three measurements, the total boot time from pressing the power button to the full desktop, from the moment the BIOS screen showed up to the full desktop, and finally the shutdown time from pressing the power button to a full shutdown. I also decided to include the original four hard drives already in a RAID 0 array. To make it as fair as possible, I reinstalled Windows 11 on the MSATA SSD, the Kingston Trio and the hard drive array. Here are the results. On every test, the hard drive array comes last, even though its top speed is faster than the MSATA. This is because the other speeds are usually far more important than just the top section, which mainly applies to copying files, so although a very useful parameter, it can be misleading. The Kingston Trio was the best overall, which wasn't really surprising. The other thing I noticed was that the machine overall felt more responsive, with programs opening faster, which wasn't really a surprise. One other test I did was to see how memory affected these times. This is because a workstation, unlike an ordinary prosumer PC, does a lot of checks before starting up because these workstations are designed to run sometimes for months, especially if they are used as servers. And as you can see from these times, the more memory it has, the slower it will be to start up. But of course, more RAM is usually a good thing since it actually helps speed up programs running on the workstation, even though the initial startup can be much slower. What this test showed was that you could RAID 0 three 120 gig SSDs like I did and get faster startup times and a more responsive machine, and at the same time possibly save money since the cost of the three SSDs I bought came to approximately £61 on Amazon, which equates to the cost of a 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD, which of course would not run as fast, and you would still have space for a mechanical hard drive in the remaining bay. Hello friends, if you enjoyed our video, can I ask you to give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as a regular viewer. Thank you, and have a lovely day.